All right, I am back from lunch. Let me throw you all on. I believe you all are on window. Let me just throw you all on window just to be sure. And I'm going to knock off these couple of. Um, all right, so this right here, I don't know if I can get rid of that collision. I may have to take this whole fence out to see where this collision is. I really hate to rebuild this fence, but I believe that's maybe the only way I can get rid of this collision. Oh, it, hang on. I'll just go through these one at a time and see what pops up. Right there. Awesome. So that's going to get rid of that collision. All right. So that takes care of that. So let me get that off my list. Um, farmer's Market, we have to move... Okay, why do I have a spinning wheel of death? I, because I saved it. Farmer's Market, we have to move the light. Because it's in the middle of the road. Of course it is in the middle of the road. Alright, so let's bump this light over a little bit. And we'll, and we'll line it up with this light, so we'll bump that light over for a little bit. Alright, so that's taken care of. Um, light pole near the farm. Yeah, that one's in the way. So let's go move that light pole as well. I'm just going to slide this. There's no light across the street, so I'm just going to slide this down a little bit further. Just give us a little bit more room right there. So that one is off the list. That's all I found in the map. So let me save this. So there's only a few things in the map we found so far. So the map is saved and closed. Now the other thing I wanted to check was on placeables, gas station, gas station one, gas station two. What is the fill rate? Yeah, that's not that's not going to cut it. Um, so let's now that might be a little fast. Let me go to five thousand. Not 15,000, 5,000. So the 5,000 liters there, gas station one, gas station two, let's go 5,000 there. All right, so that is everything I had on my list of what needed to be fixed so far. Let um, me just close a whole bunch of stuff I had open from. I was, make, I was messing around with the water fill station and um, a diesel fill station after I ate. All right, so mods, Richie's Creek, let's zip this back up. Never back down, hey old man, you're hard back at it. Yeah, I'm going to try and get the map to Dixie tonight and make sure there's no um, major issues, crashes, warnings, and then hopefully we'll get it to one or two more testers in the next day or two. And then my Patreon members, I'm hoping by the weekend. All right, so I'm going to take this. Let's cut this from here. Let's put it in the main mods folder. Um, did you add anything into the map from the one I sent you? No, I did not. But I've got you in mind as a tester because I know you've been asking as well. Uh, let's delete that so we have just a zipped one in our folder. Yeah, actually, from what you sent me, just the extra fruits. That's the only thing I've added in. But other than that, no, nothing else above and beyond that. And I've actually had, the map you sent me, I actually had three people send me that same map. Alright, so the mods folder is taken care of. Let's, I'm going to throw you all on, uh, let's go back on display capture. Let's crank my save game back up and make sure what I did. Um, you know where I am, buddy. I'm not doing anything. 
I definitely have you in mind as a tester. Let's jump back in here, make sure everything I just did works with our existing save. Now I should have two new mods in here. I should have the diesel fill station and I should have a water trigger. Now I want to... Yep, so let's deselect all, select all, and let's jump back in here and see if everything I just did works with our existing save or not. And we'll test the water fill trigger, we'll test the diesel fill trigger. Alright, I'm going to grab a little bit of speed. Let's see, I believe I can had no issues moving the light pole. So it should be over a little bit further. And it is perfect. And then this collision over here should now be gone. So F5, yeah, this collision's gone. So we can get back in there. Um, so it took care of that, took care of that. So every, the physical work I can use an existing save on. The gas fill rates. We're going to have to test the gas fill rate. And then the only other thing I did, yep, that's it. I only had a couple of little changes to make. Um, so let's look at our fields. Okay, so field of oh, field two. So let's get our tractor back running. So let's hire a worker here so he can finish rolling our field. Yeah, so needs rolling over here. Needs rolling over there. Okay, so he's going to finish this field. Um, so let's jump into here. Now, I don't own the land over here, so can't put the water fill trigger, diesel fill trigger down, but we're going to buy this. We're going to buy this piece of property because I want to put all my placeables down over here. Let me get you out of the way. Let's get you out of the way. Let's buy this piece of property. It's only 46000 But that's going to allow me to put down... Let's see if I can find them. Construction. Uh, production. Nope. Buildings. Tools. Okay, there's the diesel refill station. Let me turn my camera around. Alright, so the diesel refill station, we're going to throw... Let's throw, it, let's throw it on this side. Oh, I don't own the land on that side. Let me mean the land... Oh, so there's a very small window of what I own and what I don't own. Okay, so we'll put you... Actually, hold on. I'm going to move my truck and put it oh, behind me. Let's put the water fill trigger and the diesel fill trigger on the other side of the road. So let's turn our camera this way. All right, so let's grab, let's try that again. Uh, buildings, where were they? Tools, yeah, this one here. Let's get the diesel fill trigger here. And then where the heck is the water fill trigger? Not in this category. Container, right here. And let's throw that down. Message you back in anyway, my Facebook. Thanks, yeah. Because my short-term memory is horrible, but yeah, thank you. Alright, let's see. We Let's get a little bit of diesel for the stone processing factory because that one didn't have much. So we should be able to buy, and it's probably going to be like super quick. Okay, so we are not working. Do I have to... Hold on. Hmm. We're going to have to adjust the triggers on this guy. Oh, I put it the wrong way around. The trigger's probably on the other side. I put both of them the wrong way around. <laughs> That's just my luck. Alright, let's sell both of them and put them both back down. So I don't think... I can get the trigger on this side. If not, we'll go in and adjust the trigger. 
yeah, I'm not getting anything on that side. I'll go in and adjust these triggers. I'm not getting anything on this side either. Huh. Not getting anything on the diesel trigger. So that one's going to need a little bit more work. I don't need to buy it or anything. Nope. Let's try the water. So we never need to work on triggers for the diesel. Let's see if the water works. Alfred Prom, hello. Why am I getting a refill way out here? And there's, or is that the water? Yeah, I'm not getting anything in the way of refill. We're getting water, so we get it, we have to adjust the triggers on the diesel fill station. I don't need a lot of water there because I think we already filled these factories. Let's just check it. Yeah, you've got plenty of water, so it's just diesel that we need. So I'm just going to cheat the water out of the truck. Alright, so let's cheat the water out of the truck. There are none. Oh, there we go, none. So empty. Alright, so. Alright, let's do a quick save. And let's see if we can adjust those triggers on that diesel tank really quick. Alright, so let me go to... Oh, let me throw you all on window. Hold on. There you go. Uh, let me go back into my archives. Well, not my archives, my external. Drive uh, diesel fill station. Let's look at the triggers. Oh, you know what to do before we mess with the triggers? Let's take a look at the log. All right, so no errors, no errors in the log. Uh, fill trigger, huh? Why are we not getting? Let me create a plane so I know where the ground is. And then we'll look at this trigger. Uh, let's drop this trigger a little bit. Hmm. I don't see anything wrong with the trigger. Let's make it a little taller. And let's get it so it's just touching the ground. So it looks like it should be big enough to get a truck in there. Uh, let's also make sure it's I3D mapped properly. So let's check the uh, buying station. Oh, I freeze the transform. Freeze. All right. Let me just make sure fill trigger is zero zero. Fuel trigger is zero zero. Uh, what do I need to freeze? Translation and scale. Translation and scale. Awesome. Okay. And then let's zip this back up. Oh, let me get rid of the plane. Uh, let me save it, and then let's grab, let's delete this one, zip this back up. If this doesn't work, I'll mess with this tonight off camera. Yeah, let's throw it in my mods folder. Alright, let's jump, let me, let me throw you back on display capture. Let's jump back in here. Did I get the gold working? No. I'm still getting a texture um, I'm still getting a texture th format doesn't match error. Doesn't match the rest of the properties. So I said to hell with the gold bulk and I just went with the gold palette.
But thanks for the hell foul for prom. But yeah, I got so frustrated with it, I said to hell with it. I tried it for about four hours, and I'm still getting the um, the texture doesn't match the properties of the rest of the textures or something like that. So, um, so I gave up on it. Let me find my hired help. Let's rehire our hired help. So I just went, I just had to heck with it and I went with a gold box instead. There's a gold making mod I can send you, old man. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I have a, I already have a gold wash plant. Uh, let me show it to you. I just don't have it down yet. We're working towards getting this down and tested today. But I have a, I made a gold I made a wash plant. That's what it looks like. So you put stone in and you're going to get washed stone, gold, and clean fill back. So I already have a gold wash plant placeable. I'm just trying to get this diesel trigger to work. Unless it's too close to the water trigger. Oh, there we go. We have our diesel. Awesome. So that's working. It makes gold in bottles and metal on pallets. Yeah, I, I went with the gold box. So you'll get a box of gold along with washed stone and clean fill. Because you need clean fill to make earthworms. And then the washed stone should sell for double the price of regular stone. Uh, let's try and find the regular so stone. Um, 100 and 148 and then washed stone. Washed stone, see 3500. So it's going to pay you to use the wash plant. I'm on my marble phone can Darn. Oh, that's, that's all good. All right, so diesel fill trigger I made placeable working. Water fill trigger I made placeable is working. We'll get those in the mod pack. So we have we don't have many stones, only 1,800 liters, but we're already getting lime in our um, stone processing plant. And then the stone pit we should have running now as well. So the stone pit... Um, 3,700 stones. So we, this has only been running for a few minutes. So we'll let this run and we'll come back and take the stones out. But our two triggers are now working. Our two new placeables are working. So yeah, I'm going to keep, the, thanks for the offer, I'm going to keep the gold wash plant we had that I made for the map. Um, it should be balanced out pretty well. Uh, let's head back to the farm. Actually, no. We just bought this piece of property over here. We have the cash. We don't have any stones yet, but we have the cash. But let's put down a couple things I want to get down. Um, so I want to put our, a strip of factories over here. So a few things I want to get down since we have the money. Well, before we do that, we need the ore mine. So let's buy the ore mine first. So we already own the coal mine. Let's buy the ore mine. We need to test the next couple of factories. And then I want to get down the mammoth mill. Uh, let me turn my camera back around. All right, mammoth mill I want to get down. Uh, which way do I want to place it? It's got the pallet spawners on the front. Let's give it a little bit of room. Let's throw that there. So we have our mammoth mill. So you're going to input, um, so wood chips and coal, you're going to get planks, wood chips back, and resin. Coal and ore, you're going to get drill pipe. Plastic and coal, you're going to get empty sacks. And then, um, ore and coal, you're going to get nails. 
you need nails to make um, other product. You're going to get empty boxes. So wood chips and coal to get empty boxes, a little bit of wood chips back, and some resin back. And then iron ore and coal, you're going to get steel. So that is Mammoth Mill. So we're going to have, we need to get that up and running. Uh, the other one I want to get up and running. Let's go back to construction, back to production. So I want to get the Mammoth Mill up and running. Um, I want it, we need to get a refinery up and running, but we don't have any. I'm going to wait, I'm going to hold off on buying the refinery until we get the oil well up and running. Um, Carpentry Hall is the other one we have to get. Oh, if I can get my camera to move. How can I zoom my camera back out? I can't. Let me move physically. And then we'll get the carpentry mill up and running. I don't like placing buildings in 22 with my... It's so much easier in 19. Come on, rotate, rotate. It was so much easier in 19. It's hard to get a good camera view in 22 unless I'm doing something wrong. Oh man, I just can't get a good camera view. I used to be able to zoom like way out and be able to see the rotation. I can't do that in 22 with my Xbox One control. It gives me a hard time. So let's get spun around. Production, carpentry mill. Uh, I want to turn you a little bit. So let's get you down. And then this one is going to make, um, so the carpentry mill, you need to take planks from Mammoth Mill and nails from Mammoth Mill, and it's going to make empty crates. Empty crates you need in other factories. It's also going to make planks and nails. Uh, planks and nails also going to make crates and get a little bit, or empty pallets. So you're going to make empty crates and empty pallets that we'll use in other factories. But you have to get the mill up and running first for planks and nails. And since we have a little bit of cash, Let's buy one of the oil wells so we can get the refinery up and running. Uh, so let's buy that and then let's what land it comes with this oil well. So the land that goes with that oil well is 114,000. Let's just get it. So I'm going to put the refinery over here. So let's buy that as well. So we can put the refinery like right here in this meadow. So this needs um, coal and drill pipe. So let's get the mill up and running. And if I don't run into the water while I'm looking at chat. And we can get those tested. So let's go grab some coal and some ore. Oh, we're going to have to buy that small forest because we need wood chips. So we're going to have to buy that small forest also. I'm wondering if I should just leave that tanker over there. Do I really need this tanker at the farm? No, because I don't have anything on the farm yet to haul I don't need water and I don't need to haul water and diesel on the farm yet, so we're gonna leave this truck over here. So he can stay over here. Alright, so let's grab this guy. We need coal and we need ore. I don't have any placeable silos yet. They're still on the to-do list. 
So the placeable silo and the placeable pallet warehouse I'll try and get built before the map's released. Oh, we need to go into here. So let's grab some coal for Mammoth Mill. Well, a couple factories we need coal for. Well, and I may get that second stone pit up and running so we can test some of the other factories. Yeah, this snowblower trigger needs to be adjusted. I don't want to get too close to the ore pile. I don't know how big the fill trigger is on this. We didn't make the snowblower. We just adjusted it for our fill types. So still trying to get permission to share it. I think I have most of the factory set at input like 1 million liters or 2 million liters so you don't have to babysit them. Yeah this trigger needs some work. I wonder if I can lower. Can I lower that a little bit? I don't want to lower it too much. I just want to see if I can get it on the ground a little bit. Oh, that's the trailer. Hold on. It's not the one I wanted to adjust. Okay, so I can't adjust the snowblower. Can I adjust? No, so I can't adjust the height of the snowblower. We could bring some water and diesel back here and turn this factory on to make sure it's going to work also. Uh oh, I may get myself stuck. Alright, let's just take the long way round. Let's take the long way round. Pick up coal as we go. We don't get stuck back here behind the coal pile. You won't need to run these mines for a while. You've got plenty of product on the ground to use.
probably make a billion dollars selling all this product off. Let's get you turned off, and let's take the coal back. We'll get the mill running. We'll come back for ore. Yes, yeah, something. Oh, it would help if I lift it up off the ground, wouldn't it? So to my right is gravel. We're going to use that in uh, in the cement factory, along with the sand. And eventually we'll make glass out of glass beer bottles out of sand, and we'll have a beer factory. Oh my goodness, this cough won't go away. Alright, so we should, this should take some coal. It's probably going to take the full load. So I think I have this set at 2 million liters. I'm going to get with Papa Smurf and see if we can't up the uh, unload speed on this trailer a bit. Nope, took one million. Okay. So, I believe this guy runs on coal as well. Uh, so where's my trigger? Apparently not there. I thought this guy took coal. Or did I not put coal in here to run the factory? I did not put coal in here to run the factory. This We're going to have to add coal in here to run the factory. Alright, quick, let's do a save. Alright, let's do a save. Today's going to be adjustment day. Let's do a save. Let's go into... We gotta open the map back up because it's built into the map. So let me throw you back all on window. Uh, let's go to where am I going? Mods folder. All right, that was. This is built into the map, so I gotta open the map back up. Uh, 
Richie's Creek. Let's open that up. Make sure I have it unzipped. Okay, it's unzipped. Let me delete this one out. Let's open this up. Go to placeables. Uh, let's go to the carpentry hall. All right, we need to add input. You need a little bit of coal to run the factory with. So let's throw a little bit of coal in here. And now let's throw a little bit of coal in here. So we'll use a little bit of coal to make our crates. So we'll use a little bit of coal to make our empty pallets. I have to throw coal in here. Because uh, it has to store it. And I also have to add coal to the fill. So let's save that. And then we're going to dispense wood chips. So that's the only thing I needed to do here. So that is saved. Let me make sure I didn't miss any. Coal has got to be in three spots. It's got to be on the input, it has to be on the fill trigger, and it has to be on the storage. Okay, so we should be good there. So let's close that. Fuel buying station we're done with. We're, so I can close that. Let's take Richie's Creek, zip it back up. If I want to test it zipped, I don't want to test it unzipped. So let's cut that from there. Let's throw it in here. Now that we can delete this out. So we have just our zipped copy in there. So let's jump. Let me throw you back on display capture. Let's go back into the game. We should now have coal in the carpentry mill. Oh, back to save game four. Yeah, I'm super excited to get this map to Dixie tonight. She's looking forward to it. We, I don't plan on adding any more crop fill types to this map, so what you see is what you get. Uh, before I mess around with that, let's get our... Oh, this guy's done. Okay, let's get this guy back to the house. So all of our, there are two fields we do own are now planted. And then we'll go back and mess with the coal. So we're growing the two new crops. We're growing rye and rice. So we could test those. this guy over here by our lime spreader. Alright, he can sit here. Let's go back and test our coal. So I should now, where does our coal go? Hmm, am I not getting a fill trigger for coal? Coal should now be added to the factory. I've not tested this factory out at all. All right here. Okay, perfect. So we're going to add our coal in.
Now, I, I know we let this unload. I know we need, um, do I, when I jump out, does it stop unloading? Probably. Yeah, it does. That's what I thought. So you got a little bit of coal left, but we're going to need it anyway. So we got to go pick up coal for one more factory. So now you should be fixed. There you go. So planks, nails, coal, empty crates, planks, nails, and coal, and empty pallets. I believe I needed a little bit of coal for the oil well. Yeah, so we need a little bit of coal for the oil well, but it doesn't tell me how much it holds. So we'll just go grab a million liters. I don't have any storage. It, we can only, the only storage we have for it right now is the home farm silo until I get a placeable silo built. So I don't want to have too much coal. So let's go grab just shy of a million liters for the oil well. And then we'll go get some ore and dump that in the mill. Then we're going to have to cut a couple trees to get some wood chips. And I'm going to need to get a poplar field planted because I don't like forestry. So we may end up buying field three over here and planting poplar. want, let me grab, just short of a million liters. So this factory, all you got to do is put water and diesel in it, and it'll start making you more coal. And all the mines work that way. Let's turn that off because I don't want more than a million. Let's take this to the oil well.
Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting start working on factories. So I want to get a first order of business is I already started making pallets for the orchards and greenhouses. So orchards, greenhouses, dairy will be part of update one. And then after update one, that should be all the basic products we need to make other stuff with. So, and then update two, I'm going to mess around with custom animal pens and see if we can't get some kind of uh, uh, butchery or slaughterhouse. So that'll be update two and then we can start working on some real factories like um, a pie factory, a pizza factory. Alright, so let's get coal in here. So you're going to wait on drill pipe, so it means we've got to get the mill up and running next. We'll go back and grab some ore. Oh, I forgot to adjust the drill. I got to fix the drill pipe pallet. I'll do that before I send it to Dixie. Let me write that down because I'm going to keep forgetting. Drill pipe pallet is not perfect. It needs a couple adjustments. There's a couple gaps between the pipes that I don't like. So to me, it's just going to visually drive my OCD nuts. There's nothing wrong with it. It works fine. But visually, I've got to make one small adjustment to it. Alright, let's go grab some ore. We need ore to make drill pipe with. You know, the cement factory also will probably be another easy factory to get up and running. So I need, I mean, another one, an easy one to build. So you have an early, another factory to make some cash with. Grab just short of a million liters for, with this guy.
let's turn that off so I don't go over. Uh, let's get this to the mill. Yeah, because well, I, the, the, whatever the cement factory makes is going to be end product. So what I plan on doing is once I get it up built and up and running, I'm going to just set, set it to just automatically sell the product. And that's going to be just easy cash. Because we'll input, we'll input water, limestone, sand, and gravel. And it's going to make cement... I think blocks and pavers, something like that. I forget what I built into the map. And then I'm just going to set mine on auto sell. I know you lose a little bit of money that way, but I'm not going to cart pallets around. All right down to the mill, so we'll just need some wood chips. It will not take trees, it'll only take wood chips. So if you like realistic logging, this is not going to be your map to play. Right, let's get the ore in here. That ore plane right there should be filling up. That box should be filling with ore. And it is. So our ore planes are, my fill planes are working. Awesome. So I think I just need wood chips. Yeah, so planks need wood chips. Uh, so our drill pipe went active. Oh, I have to activate it. So drill pipe. Uh, we can't make sacks because we need plastic. Uh, nails we can activate. And then I'm not going to make steel. Let's make let's make a little bit of steel just so I can test the pallet. And then I'm going to shut steel off. Actually and then I'll probably send I'll probably send make steel just do it instead of store I'll probably just make it sell. But I want to test the pallet first and I'm going to just change it to sell. Um, so in order to get our planks and our boxes, we're going to have to get some wood chips. Uh, let's grab, let's go back to the house. As soon as we get our first crop and we're making seeds, I'm going to make also, and we also need to get a fertilizer factory up and running, which we're going to use the silt for. Silt and water is going to make you um, solid fertilizer and liquid fertilizer. I think I set the recipe really easy. I think it's just silt and water.
but we'll double check that. Alright, we need some wood chips. I'm going to buy, since we have the cash, uh, let's just park you here a second. So this piece of land right here, next to field 3, it's not a big piece of land, but we'll get enough wood chips to get the mill running. So let's grab, let's What's planted in field three? I'm so tempted to buy that field. It's barley. I'm so tempted to buy that field. What growth stage is it in? Early, early growth stage. So I really want to plant that with poplar. What I may do is I may overplant the field. I may we may plow under we may buy a plow under the barley and plant it with poplar. But we need these trees here. Um, 54,000. Let's buy that. How much is the field? It's only 153,000. Um, we're going to, let's get our factories up and running and then we're going to come, we're going to buy this field. We're going to plow. I'm going to plow the barley under. We're going to plant poplar instead. But I want to get the mill running first. So let's drop off the snowblower. Let's buy a bunker cleaner, or a Brooks All-in-One. So let's drop this guy over here. And let's go to, let's get out of my store delivery spot. And let's go to forestry equipment. Uh, where is it? Down here. Brooks all in one. Uh, do I want to mess with the capacity at all? Yeah, might as well. So it has an internal capacity as well as an external capacity. Alright, can I sneak behind the barn? Plenty of room. This Brooks is the I've been using this Brooks on my on the No Man's Land map for my YouTube series and it's a little bit finicky. You have to play with the height of the of the tool a little bit. So let's get it unfolded. We'll get the pipe out. And then See, cause it sits at a weird angle, so sometimes you have to adjust the height of it to get it to work properly. Let's see how it does. Yeah, it's going to need to be adjusted. Uh, let me adjust it up. Let me just raise it up a little bit. There we go. So once you get it adjusted right, <laughs> it's fine. But getting it adjusted, I think I found it on modhub.us. No, I'm sorry. Papa Smurf sent me sent it to me. But I don't know if I can share it yet. I'll get with Papa Smurf. Yeah, it takes out the tree and it takes out the stump pretty quick. Hmm. 
And if Papa Smurf gives us permission to share it, I'll release it with the map. I don't know if it's his mod or if he got it from somebody else. But it takes them down pretty quick. Uh, let's grab this one. I'm just going to try and get close. I'm not going to take all these trees. I just want to get close to a million liters so we can get that mill running. I don't know what we'll put here. Maybe we'll expand our field over this way once all these trees are out of here. Make the field three bigger. And it's just going to stay a poplar field so I have enough to keep the mill running without having to do more forestry. Not bad. I'll take out this row. We'll drop these off at the mill. get that turned off. Let's get these wood chips over there.
you know what? I know what. I'm not going to expand the field. I'm going to put my uh, small factories over there, like the uh, seed production, the fertilizer production, uh, the grass dryer, the compost. You'll probably f use that little area there to put some factories down. Oh, we got a pallet of something already. We got a couple pallets of... Alright, steel. I'm going to turn steel off. Now that I know the pallet works. So I'm going to turn steel off. I don't want to mess with steel. I want to save... I want to make... I want it to make... So why is it making steel and not making drill pipe? Drill pipe and steel should have been set the same. Uh, drill pipe, does it tell me the production? Cycles per month, 2400. 2400. Drill pipe, we're storing. But why did it not pop any pallets of drill pipe out? Why did it... So my drill... There's something wrong with the drill pipe pallet. So if I have steel pallets sitting here, I should have drill pipe pallets sitting here. So what's wrong with the drill pipe pallet? If it's not spawning it. Let's check the log. Let's Before I dump that in there, I'm going to check the log real quick and see if we're getting any errors with the drill pipe pallet. It worked with the map unzipped. Why is it not working with the map zipped? Error. Invalid. Okay, that's the free. That's the bunker cleaner. Yeah, no errors in the log. So why are you not spawning out drill pipe? Because drill pipe are 10,000 liters. Steel is set to the wrong... That's the difference. Drill pipe is set at 10,000 liters. Steel is not. Steel is at 4,000 liters. So steel... Well, I'm not, I don't plan on using steel in any factories. So steel can actually be income. So let's change it from storing to selling and I'm going to turn it back on and then I'll just sell those two pallets manually. That's why it's not spawning out drill pipe. It didn't make a full pallet yet. Steel, I think, I forgot to adjust steel. I think it's set at 1,000 liters. So we got to go, let me make a note for myself. I got to adjust the steel pallet. Quantity. So I also want that at, I think I want that at 4,000 liters as well. So another adjustment on the mill. Well, at this point, I don't plan on using steel in another factory. That's subject to change. I've got something in mind we may use steel for. Alright, so now we should have... Alright, so planks we need to activate. Sacks we need plastic for. Let's activate boxes because we're going to use those in... I'm going to use the empty boxes in the greenhouses and orchards. And let's reactivate steel. And steel we should be selling. Everything else we're going to be storing. 
Um, so we have to get plastic. We have to get drill pipe first, we get the oil well running, and then after the oil well's running, we can get the refinery down. So we still don't have any plastic, but we got plenty of wood chips, we got plenty of coal, we got plenty of ore, still no plastic. Alright, so next order of business is I'm gonna buy field three and plant poplar, plow it under and plant poplar really quick, or just plant over the top of it. One of the two. Then, since we have a little bit of cash left, I'll probably be put down seed production so we can test that, fertilizer production, composter. I'm going to take the rest of these trees out so we have room for production over here. So I'm just going to park this guy over here for a minute. So it won't take us long to yank the rest of these trees out over here. And that will give me room to put a couple small factories down. Alright, so did we buy... did I already buy field 3? I can't remember. My memory is that bad. We did not buy 3. 153,000. If we need more cash, I'll sell off coal or ore. Let's just buy that. Um, what growth? So that's in the early growth stage. Um, it's fully fertilized. <laughs> it's, it's a shame that I'm going to plow that under, but I'm going to plow that under. So where's our cedar? I want to test this planter also to make sure it can plant the poplar. So let's change this to poplar. MJ, hello old man, hello right back at you. Thank you for stopping in, much appreciated. I'm going to get this map to Dixie tonight and then my other testers in a few days. Patreons, depending on how quickly Dixie can get testing, really hoping to get it to Patreon members closer to this weekend. Sulfur Desmond, hello, thank you for stopping in. Nano9, hello as well. Did I miss a raid? Uh, no, I don't see anything in comments. All right, let's get this unfolded. Like I said, it's a shame I'm going to plant over what's here, but I want poplar. But we're testing. I think this will overplant. If this doesn't overplant, we'll go grab the plow. Ooh, hold on. Do I. What's up with that texture? Okay, so it is changing it to poplar also. Okay, awesome. Um, great. Is she going out this weekend? No. Um, this is, today's only the, today's the first day of testing. 
I've only tested, we haven't even tested many of the triggers yet. So all the factory triggers have to be tested. Um, I've only tested one cell trigger, so the cell triggers have to be tested. And then once, and then the new crops have to be tested. The rye, the millet, the rice, and the carrots. So the new, the new crops have to be tested as well. Thank you. Yeah, so give us give us about five to seven days to test, and then if everything is if everything goes well, I'll get it to the Patreon members after five to seven days. After we're done making sure all the triggers work, there's no major errors in the log, and then the Patreons will have it for a week before it's released. So I don't want to put the map out and then tomorrow tell you that I don't want to put the map out and give it to the testers and then tomorrow tell you that you need a new game save. So I'm trying to avoid new game saves and restarts. So we want to test every trigger first. And we need to test the new crops. Make sure they go through all the growth stages and make sure they harvest. L.A. Biscotti, if I mispronounced that, I'm sorry. Hello, thank you so much. Y'all, we just have to wait for me to see what I could break first. Absolutely, i got to give Dixie a couple days to break it first. Before anybody else gets it. Alright, let's get... The rest of this poplar in. Y'all know Dixie likes to break things. Uh oh, I'm going to have to get, uh, I can't use Google Translate while I'm streaming, so I'll have to get somebody to translate that for me. Oh, I got the notification at the bottom of my screen again. My son is still playing Factorial. I'm going to have to bust on him later. Oh, okay. Thank you. For that translation. Yeah, Dixie, I'm uh, hoping to get the map to Dixie by dinner time. Dixie, let me know if you're going to stream the map tonight. I'll get it to you soon. I've got one or two more adjustments to make. The log is still error free. Yeah, it's going to be, I, the base game maps personally to me suck, so it's nice to have a good map to um, play on. Try to speak more, okay, I will do that. You can show them how to break stuff. Yeah, I have, if you want to stream the map tonight, then go for it. I won't, I will not stream after dinner.
The map file is really small, so it should only take 15 or 20 minutes for me to upload it. Alright, let's get this folded up. So we have a poplar field. Alright, so what are you telling me? You are telling me it needs rolling. Of course it needs rolling. Everything needs rolling. So let's go get the roller. It takes you. The quicker we get this tested and all the triggers tested, the quicker we can get it out to the players. All right, you can stay there. Where's my roller back? Oh, I've already got a tractor on the roller. Let's grab this guy. Let's go hire a worker to roll that field. Yeah, guys and gals, give us a little bit of time. Today is only the first day of testing. All right, let me hire a worker. I'll jump out of here. All right, you go do your thing. Let's take a couple more trees out so I can have so I can put some more well some more small I, I got plenty of room I just want to take some more of these trees out and we'll get I want to get the seed I want to get the seed maker down I want to get the fertilizer maker down I want to get the composter down and I want to get the grass dryer down so yeah so if I'm going to talk to Papa Smurf every time you use it it readjusts itself so you just have to lift it off the ground a little bit. And once you lift it off the ground just a little bit, it works fine. But I'll talk to Pop Smurf so we have if we have permission to share it. LA Biscoded, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. V O L L E F H. Hi, I'm from Denmark, and it's a really nice map. You may thank you. I will, we're trying to get today's the first day of testing, so give us about a week. And then my Patreon members will get it first. They'll have it for a week before it's released. So give us give us about two weeks. And y'all will have it. Patreon's first. I also want to see if the home farm silo takes these wood chips. Ooh. 
Ooh. There we go. How far up do I want to go? This is probably good enough. <laughs> Now, if I'm going to take these out, I might as well take them out to where our property ends. Which should be like right about here. So where does this property end? So where am I at? I think I can go up a little bit further. Uh, farmlands. Oh yeah, I can go up quite a bit further. So about halfway back. I'll leave a few trees along the field. I like the look. I'll leave those back there. Take the rest of these out and I'll put some production over here. So I want to keep my farmyard clear for animal pens. Mr. Old Man and number one now, not quite. I do my best, but there's plenty of awesome modders out there that make the game enjoyable. Because with just the base game maps and just the base game mods and equipment, I have no desire to play. So every once in a while you get a stubborn tree, but for the most part it does pretty well. Alright, let's get these in storage. Did I miss any trees? I did not. Let's get these in storage. Alright, so before I put those in storage, Let's get, since I have the cash, before I spend the rest of the cash. Alright, let's grab construction, production. I want to put down uh, the fertilizer factory. So fertilizer factory, which way do I want to turn it? Uh, actually right there should be fine. Uh, as long as I'm not block, as long as I don't have a tree block in my entrance, uh, let me turn my camera this way. So if I put you there, so fertilizer factory, I want to get the seed factory down. Uh, seed master will go next to it. So right about here, leave some room for factories. Uh, so f seeds. I also want to get a grass dryer down. Um, so you can actually go right there. So grass dryer, I want to get a composter down. Uh, Composter. How close to the field am I? I got plenty of room. So composter. Uh, which way do I want to turn this? Uh, let me spin this building and see where the inputs are. Right there. Perfect. So this angle here. Yeah, this angle here. Let's get the composter. Oh, I want to leave room, so let me back this guy up a little bit. Let's put the composter here. I don't want to crowd these in too much. Composter. Uh, so what else do we have? We have... So the fertilizer factory's down. That's a, that's going to be a placeable mod. It'll be in mod pack 1. Grass dryer is will be in mod pack 1. The seed master will be in mod pack 1. Mammoth mills built into the map. The extra oil wells are built into the map. The refinery is built into the map. The ice house is built into the map. 
Um, stone pits, you can put extra stone pits down. That's factories built into the map. An extra stone processing plant. The gold wash plant is built into the map. The composter is built into the map. The carpentry hall is built into the map. So those are all stuff that those are all factories that are built into the map so you can place your own. Alright, so we need Alright, solid fertilizer. So silage to fertilizer, water and silage to fertilizer, or um Silt to solid fertilizer and silt and water to liquid fertilizer. So that is your fertilizer production. Um, seeds, um, wheat, solid fertilizer and wheat, liquid fertilizer and wheat will make seeds. Same thing with the uh, what's that? Barley, oats, um, millet or sorghum, I don't know all the symbols yet, rye, and rice will get you seeds. Grass dryer is pretty self-explanatory. Um, so grass, grass to hay, grass to silage, um, chaff, to silage. So that is your grass dryer. And then we have the composter. So we have wood chips to compost, grass to compost, um, hay to compost, and straw to compost. So that is your composter. And you need compost and clean fill to get the earthworm factory up and running. Um, I see a lot of streamers are taking a break playing other games waiting for a good map. This one should fill the void. Um, yeah, so we have a, there's a mod called, and Dixie, you're going to have to correct me, Instant Grow or something to that effect. So I'm going to hit, the, if I hit the backspace button once, it tells all of your crops to go to the next growth stage. And you have to give the map a couple minutes to catch up. Grow now. There you go. So it's a grow now mod. Um, I'm going to use it. So every time you hit the backspace button, it takes your crops up one growth stage. So our popular... Uh, let's go to our growth stages. So popular, so it's going to take all of your crops up a growth stage every time you hit the backspace button. Now that probably messed my roller up, and I should have waited till I was done rolling. But I'm going to just let that roller do its thing. And hopefully it's not destroying the crop. Yeah, see, I, I went to the first growth stage before I finished rolling it, and it messed up the worker. So if I don't get this field rolled, I'm not going to cry. I forgot I had this guy running. Will he not work because it went to the next growth stage? No, that's all right. My bad. We'll roll it next time. But yeah, I'm, we're, we're definitely going to use that mod. I'm not going to like make the crops grow in like instantly in an hour. I'll give myself like one game day. So I'll slowly take each growth stage up. But you can, every time you hit the backspace button, it goes one growth stage and each crop has anywhere from 6th to 8th growth stages. But yeah, I should have waited until this roller was done. I forgot I had him running. Yep, 
Yeah, warning. Do not have seating or rolling going in the workers before you finish, before you hit the mod. Yeah, that was my bad. So I showed you what not to do. Alright, let's see if we can... I want to save these wood chips. I'm not going to put them in the composter. I want to save these for the mill. So I'm going to throw... I'm going to make sure the farm silo holds wood chips. And it does. Awesome. Oh, good point, Dixie. So it, it'll, if you have any contracts going, it'll also mess up the uh, contract field. So it'll take your contract field to the next growth stage. Good point. I forgot about that. So we still have five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so we're gonna need we're gonna need some silt. Oh, wrong one. Let's look at the uh, silt pond. So the silt pond. What's the silt pond gonna cost us? And why am I not getting? Let me jump out of the vehicle. Um, did instant grow mess up my? Oh, right there. So that's going to cost us seventy-five thousand. Let's grab the silt pond so we can start making fertilizer. So let's drop the brooks off and grab the snowblower. Actually, before I do that, I think some of our fields, now that they went to the first growth stage, need fertilizer. So we have rye, it's growing, and it needs to be fertilized. And we have our rice, which is growing, and it needs fertilizer. So let's get these fertilized first, and then we'll get the fertilizer factory up and running. which means I need to put another buy silo down just until we get the fertilizer factory up and running. Nope, I have liquid fertilizer. Let's fill our sprayer. Oh, this ought to be fun. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. All right, let's fill the sprayer. Spend a little bit more money. There we go. Let's go take care of those fields. Oh, this is super slow. All right, let's hire a worker. So we should be getting... Yep, so we're going to get our extra fertilizer. So you go do your thing. We're going to go get some silage. And we'll keep an eye on the, the hired help. All right, where was I? We were dropping off the brooks. 
my harvester's in the way. So let's drop the bricks over here. We'll just put it by our garage. So we drop the brooks off. Now I can't, I have for the life of me can't remember where I put the snowblower. Over here. All right. Now let's go get some silt. Matter of fact, let's look at our contracts since the since our harvester is sitting there doing absolutely nothing. No, I do want to upgrade that harvester, but just for the heck of it, do we have any harvesting contracts? Field 10, wheat. Um, how big is field 10? Oh, that's the big one. I'm not taking that contract. That field 17 and 10 are massive. Let's see if we have anything closer to home, like 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So any contracts for 6, 7, 8, or 9? Nothing. So 10, 11. Where's field 11? Uh, what's this field? What's that contract? Field 11 oats to the farmer's market. Um, let's take it. Um, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to sleep in. It's 945. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. All right, let's, let's take this and let's test our Let's make sure the contracts work. So field 11 harvesting. Let's grab our harvester. Oh my goodness, sorry, I had a couple sneezes. I hope I had my mic muted. All right, so let's drop the corn header off. Oh, we're attached. Uh, let me detach that one a minute. Let's drop the corn header off. I'm going to sell this and upgrade it anyway, so let's use it and test the contracts. So let's take this guy over to field 11. See if it'll fit through the bridges. That's another test. If we're going to have to take a long way around. Nope, we should be good. If we don't lose the header trailer in the barn or in the bridge. And if we figure out where field 11 is, because I'm already lost on my own map. So I think we have to cut across. Yeah, we're gonna have to go, we should have went out the other way. That's all right, we'll go cross country. There should be a bridge over here. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna need to earn some cash because I wanna upgrade this harvester anyway. So I put this road here so you didn't have to drive all the way around. You just have to cut between the two fields. But I left your room so you can merge these two fields together. So if you buy fields eight and nine, you can plow them together and make one big field. Now I've got to remember not to hit the growth stage button again until this contract is done. T 
time is it? Th almost three o'clock. I'm gonna go till to t I'm gonna go for another hour till four o'clock, and I'm gonna get out of here so I can get the map to Dixie. So I've got one or two more adjustments to make as well. So let's drop that. Let's get this guy unfolded. Yeah, this is a, a new farmer mar mode. <laughs> oh, excuse me. This is part of your starting fleet. But I'm going to sell it off and get something bigger. But it's sitting there not doing anything, so he might as well take this contract. And I'm not gonna I don't want to drop straw because I don't want to deal with this. So let me make sure we have straw disabled. So straw should be disabled. Uh go do your thing. Yep, you go do your thing. Alright, let's go get some silt. So we can start making fertilizer. So, silt. Yeah, you know, once you run out of material on the ground, you can get the factory up and running. All it needs is water and diesel. It'll make you silt and clean fill. So right now I don't have any factories running that are making me clean fill other than stone processing. So we're going to have to get All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this I'm going to put another stone pit down. I'm going to probably put two stone pits down so we can test the wash plant. So let's get the mill up and running, and then we'll put a two, like one or two more stone pits down. So we have plenty of stone to test with. So I don't have to cheat any in. And then we'll get the stone pits up and running. I need stone for the stone processing plant. We need stone for the wash plants. And we still need to test them. Well, the stone processing plant's running, but it doesn't have that much stone. And then... I'll probably sell off another load of ore or coal just so we have some more cash. Alright, let me spin around so I don't get stuck be between the pile and the mountain. Ooh. What did I hit there? I hit the road edge. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to get stuck in the lake between the mountain and the pile. So while Dixie is testing, I'm going to play around with this snowblower a little bit and adjust the triggers.
and then I'll start working on I want to get a if I can get with Papa Smurf I'm gonna work on the auto load trailer so we can get the new pallets on it if I cannot get in touch with Papa Smurf I'm gonna start working on a placeable warehouse pallet warehouse while Dixie is testing So we have uh, two million liters. So I'm, I'm going to work on a placeable silo, and I'm going to work on uh, the placeable pallet warehouse. I want to try and get those two finished before the maps release, so they're part of the map. Uh, they're part of Mod Pack One. Alright, which one was fertilizer, which one was seed? I think this one was fertilizer. It is. Awesome. So this is also going to need a tank of water. So how is, while this is unloading, let's check on a couple things. Field 11, uh, let's go to this screen. All right, so field 11, that's going to take a while. That's a tiny harvester. Do I have any other field 1? Okay, we had to move our sprayer over to field 2. Did they finish field 1? They did, so we got to move our sprayer over to field two. And then we're going to earn some cash and we're going to upgrade our harvester. So excited y'all to get this map out. Can't wait to get it out of testing. AI has so yeah, so yeah, that that harvester definitely needs an upgrade. So we're gonna do that next. As soon as I get a tank of water over as soon as I move the sprayer and get a tank of water over here, we're gonna upgrade that harvester. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to sell off a load of um or first. So a question for you because I've not played 22 enough and anybody in chat can answer. If I have my factory set to sell, do you get the cash immediately or do you get paid at midnight? Because I haven't ran um, any factories long enough to know that the answer to that question. All right, we have a little bit of silt in here. I'm going to see if the home silo takes it. It should. Because right now I have the, the mammoth mill set to sell the steel. And I want to know if it you get paid instantly or if you get paid at midnight. Alright, so let's take this guy over to that harvester. Now I need this, oh crap. Alright, let's grab a tank of water. Let's move this guy first. Did, just, did he do this entire field? Let's make sure the entire field's done. 
he did. Let's get this over to field two. He almost went in the lake. I'm surprised he didn't end up in the lake. We'll take care of water and we'll get the fertilizer factory running and then we'll upgrade that um, harvester. All right, hire you off. You go do your thing. Yeah, it's got a full grain tank. Um, so let's, we have 483,000. Let's do the math real quick. So if I wanted to get Harvester, um, I want one of Stevie's. 24 miles an hour. Um, it holds more. Uh, 31 miles an hour. Probably go for the 8900. 32 miles an hour. Ooh, we're, I think we're going to go for this one, the iconic one. So 465,000. Yeah, we're not going to have enough cash. If I sold off um, my existing harvester, how much are we going to get? Only 200,000. I'll take out a loan. We'll take out a loan. All right, let's get... Let me fire this worker. Just so he's not sitting here costing me money. Let's grab a tank of water so we can get the fertilizer factory running, and then we'll take care of the harvester. So the water fill station placeable will be in mod pack one and the diesel fill station will be in mod pack one as well. Do you get paid at the top of the hour but not 100% sure? Yeah, I don't know when you get paid. Um, so I have... I have our mill set to sell. I popped out the first two pallets of steel just to make sure that the pallet worked. And then I changed it to sell. So these two I have to manually sell. So it's making us nails that we need to take over to the next factory. It's making us planks which we need to take over to the carpentry mill. Empty boxes are going to be, you need the empty boxes for the orchards and greenhouses and some other factories. And then um, this is what the drill pipe looks like. I want to make a couple slight adjustments to that pallet. So we can come over here. There's so much to do now. So we're going to have to move pallets around. Um, I'll take out a loan if we have to. I want to upgrade that harvester next. But I need to empty it. Now what's really nice about the silo is I can pull the one out of the map and make it a placeable in about 10 minutes. Um, a warehouse is going to take me a couple hours to build a pallet warehouse. But the placeable silo I should have done in an, about half an hour. So all the mod work, all the XML work is done. All I've got to do is pull it in the map and make it uh, pull it out of the map and make it a placeable. And then we'll make some kind of a liquid storage as well. Because the grain silo, the silo will only hold grain. The warehouse is only going to hold pallets. So I'll make, a, I'll make a third one to hold liquid. So 
So this should now go active. If not, we'll activate it. Um, so what do we have? We have that silage. So we have silt to solids fertilizer. Let's activate that. And we have water and silt to liquid fertilizer. So let's activate that. So we'll start making fertilizer. Let's grab, let's go empty that harvester. And I'm just going to sell the harvester and both headers in the trailer off real quick. And then we'll, we'll upgrade the, har I'll take out a, I'll take out a loan. Ah, crap. Let's drop this guy off. Uh, let's throw it over here by the garage. And if I have to, I'll take out a loan to upgrade our harvester. But let's go get it emptied. And I'll go back in the store and see what I want to buy. What time is it? 3.08. We'll see if I stream long enough to hit the top of the hour in the game and see if it um if we get paid for this steel that's selling or not. Alright, do I have to jump in the harvester? I do. Let me get out of here. Let's let's do this. Let's sell off. Uh, let's sell off the harvester. Let's sell off. Wrong one. Sell the header off. Let's sell the corn header off. And let's sell the trailer off. All right, now let's get us, let me get this guy out of the way. So, yeah, that, owned, that got us 112,000. So let's, let's see what we have. Let's jump back in here. So what do I have in the way of har modded harvesters? We have a couple by Stevie. So this one, 31 miles an hour. Uh, what's the capacity? Uh, does it tell me? It's in tons. So if we look at that one compared to this one, I think this one holds more. Oh goodness, it's going to bring it up to a million dollars. So if we have standard, what is that? Um, 18,000 liters, 36,000, we're at 400,000, 54,000 liters, we're still in my price range. 
100,000 liters, um, 500,000. Let's get this one for now. We can upgrade it later. So let's grab this guy. And I'm just going to grab a grain header for now. But I want the one that you tow, this guy. All right, so what do we have here? Six miles an hour, 11 miles an hour. Now we're going with the 11 miles an hour. And I'm not going to make any changes to it. We still have a little bit of cash left if we need to do anything. So let's take this over and finish that contract. Now with, their, uh, with this upgraded harvester, we could take a contract on a bigger field. Yeah, there's a. I'm on Stevie's Facebook group, and I'm on Iconics Facebook groups. So they out. They have a bunch of really good mods out as well. Oh, so my sprayer tank is empty. So we got to go take care of that next. As soon as we get this guy started, I'm just going to start this guy at the other end of the field. and then have him work his way back. This way I don't have to worry about this little half a row with the different size header. Actually, no, I can catch up and then uh, I can catch up manually and then set a worker off. All right, so let's get you, let's get you unfolded. Let's grab this guy, and we'll get it folded up. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do a headland on this side, so he has room to turn around. And then we'll point him in the other direction. So I'm just going to manually do a headland here. Please tell me I have straw turned off. I don't want to deal with it. Okay. I I think they got the animations better in 21 than they did in 19 or 22 than they did in 19. get this guy pointed in the better direction. And go do your thing. Uh, let's take care of our sprayer. Since he has... he can't finish this field. Let's go get a refill. 
This, be, this should be the last of the fertilizer we have to buy. Uh, because we're making our own. I don't like spending money. I like to be self-sufficient. So, let's get... I'm not going to fill the front tank. That should finish the field. So, 1400 bucks. That will never get back. Well, eventually we'll get it back. Now, I, where did I leave off? Let's see if we could follow the tire tracks. Alright, so where were you? You're over here. Alright, go do your thing, finish up that field. We had two different... Did this field go to two different growth stages? It looks like it did. Or did it, is it on one growth stage? Oh! Field 2. No, both field 1 and field 2 are on the same growth stage. I hate when the field... like half the field's on one growth stage and the other half the field's on a different growth stage. Um, us and the guns, hello, thank you for stopping in, much appreciated. Alright, so where were we? Field 1 and 2 is now completely seeded and second layer fertilizer. Field 3 is our poplar field, and I think it has a second layer fertilizer on it. It needs rolling, but I messed that up, so we're, it's not going to get fit. We're not going to be able to finish rolling that field. All right, so where were we? Fertilizer factory's up and running. Seed factory we can't get running yet because we have to wait for our crop to grow. All of this rice is going to go straight into the seed factory, so we can't get seeds up and running yet. <clears throat> We need to take care of the mill, but I'm going to need to sell off one of my tractors and get a smaller tractor with a front loader. Or we can lease a forklift. Um, let's. We need to go take care of the mill. But do I want a f tractor with a front loader, or do I want a forklift? So if I sell off we have three tractors, so let me let's think about this. So if I sell off, because the tractors we have, I cannot put a uh, front motor attacher on. Wheel setup fender, or unless that was it. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, so no front motor attacher on these tractors. But if we sell that one, so if I sell off one of my tractors um, where's the garage so if I sell off one of my tractors we'll get about two hundred and sixty thousand dollars back and if I buy the one in Winston's mod pack we're gonna break about even this one I can put a front loader on I can upgrade the engine Um, and then we can get a front loader so I can take care of the mill. Let's let's sell one of our tractors off. When I bought these tractors, I didn't even think about a front loader. Is this just repair, or can I sell here? I cannot sell. Oh, I can. 
so let's sell this guy off. That's going to give us 280,000. So let's grab this guy, wheel weights, front loader attacher. Do I want the cage? No. Let's go with the front loader attacher. Let's upgrade the engine. Can I get one that's close to my other ones in color? I can. Ooh, I like that. And then... I don't see an option for a license plate. Okay. 287,000, not bad. Let's grab this guy. Now what front loader do I need though? That's the question. Doesn't tell me. So let's grab this guy. Um, let's grab... Oh, I guess that's the only, the only front loader we can get. So I can, so I cannot, I can repaint the tractor, but I cannot repaint the front loader. Well, that sucks. Oh, I can. That was weird. Is that the right one? Hold on. We got the bigger tractor. Yeah, we got the bigger tractor, so that's the one I want. So let's repaint it. Is that the right color? No, this one. That's the right color. And let's grab ourselves a pallet fork. Oh, wrong one. I forgot they're not, they're in different categories. Front loader tools. Let's grab our pallet fork. Um, are we stuck with black? I guess we're stuck with black. Alright, let's go take care of some, let's take care of a couple things at the mill. Oh, don't do that to me. Alright, it's front loader attacher. Pallet fork. Now, I've got two pallets of steel. You know what? We'll just drive them manually over. I'm not going to, I was going to buy a trailer. Oh, that's right. I forgot I kept that. Oh, well, we got two front loaders now. I completely forgot I saved that front loader in a bale spike. I was going to buy a trailer to haul the two pallets of steel to the cell point, but we'll just drive them manually to the cell point. Can you zoom out to see the map? Absolutely. Um, so I did a map tour. If Go back and watch my earlier stream today. The first half hour of my stream is a, is a complete map tour. So basically, um, this square here is the home farm. In new farmer mode, you get the home farm, the coal mine, field one, and field two. <clears throat> but this... This road here is where all of your cell points are. Uh, your BGA is right here. Um, there's another cell point here and here. And then along the lake is all of your fishing. So earthworm factory, earthworm warehouse, fish warehouse, fish processing, and fishing spots. <clears throat> and then over here is the coal mine, the ore mine, the salt mine, the copper mine, the gravel mine, the sand mine and the silt pit and then surrounding the outside of the map are all just big nice big fields so that is the map we are going to head over to the mill and i got to shuffle some pallets around
All right, so I'm going to go to the top of the hour in game, and then I'm going to get out of here so I can make a couple slight changes and get this to Dixie. And then I'll be back tomorrow. Well, Dixie's testing, I'm going to work on placeable silo, placeable liquid storage, and placeable pallet warehouse. Alright, so, you know, you know what, I'm going to have to take that tree out. I didn't even think about that when I put this down. Alright, so nails. You're going to see how bad I suck at uh, not having an auto load trailer yet. Alright, so nails. Nails need to go to this mill so we can make new product with. I think that's the trigger. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that, so that is the trigger. All right, so nails and planks need to go over there. Boxes we're going to put in storage. Drill pipe we're going to run over to... Planks are going to go over to this mill because we're going to now make empty crates and pallets so we can start putting them in storage. So let's make sure this factory goes active. All right, so we're going to make crates. Let's activate that. We're going to make pallets. Let's activate that so we can start storing them. They're going to be used in future factories with update map update 1, which will be about a couple weeks after the release. All right, so you need to go... To, oops, hold on. I'm under the pallet. Let's see if we can't get it over there without it falling off. Yeah, I'm stuck under the pallet. We'll just let it unload. Now, let me try something that I haven't done yet before. If planks and nails, that's the only factory that needs them. So if I tell this to go to... Let's look at something really quick, because I've not tried this yet. So if I tell nails... <clears throat> so if I go here to nails, instead of storing, distributing. Let's change nails to distributing. Let's change planks to distributing and let's see if they automatically go to the next factory this way it won't we won't have to manually move them over but let's get the ones that are on the spawners over here out of the way So nails can go over here. Oh, come on. There we go. So nails can go over there. The two pallets of steel we're going to sell. And then the empty boxes I'm going to store once we get the uh, pallet warehouse built.
Let's grab. Should be one more box of nails in here. Let's grab that pallet of drill pipe. I don't like the gaps between the pallets. I'm going to work on this pallet a little bit. So let's get this over to the oil well. I could change this to distributing also. So let's do that so we won't have to... Ah, crap. <laughs> I stopped too quick. Let's change the drill pipe also to distributing so it goes automatically goes over to the oil well. Drill pipe um, distributing. So we won't have to move a lot of pallets around. Now can I pick this guy back up? Kind of, sort of. See if we make it. I haven't tested this trigger yet either, so this is a good test to see if the uh, trigger is going to... Oh, cool, so the drill pipe is fine. It's emptying. I love when we have triggers that actually work, that don't have to be adjusted. So you should now be running. You have coal, you have drill pipe, you are storing crude oil. So next thing is the refinery. We have to earn some cash before we can buy the refinery. Oh, let's get this guy up off the ground. All right. So I'm going to go I'm going to manually sell these two pallets of steel that'll also test the, the trigger to sell trigger. But I'm going to go check on our hired help real quick. and see if they need any tending to. And we're going to sell off these two pallets of steel. I think there's only one f sell point that takes the steel. I think it's just a hardware store. Oh, uh, where's the steel? Yeah, just the hardware store. All right, let's check on our two. I'm just going to tax. So you're doing fine. You're only 63% full. Where's our sprayer? Uh, you missed some stuff at the end of this row. So let's come down this side. And we're going to upgrade our sprayer to something a little bit better. They should as long as you own the next factory in the production line. Now let's say I own two oil wells. Is it going to take my drill pipe and evenly distribute it between the two oil wells? Or is it only going to send it to one oil well? We're going to have to test that. Because right now I only own one oil well. Alright, so that should be this field complete. 
So where are we? Field two. Awesome. So how is so how much of that field is harvested? Um, only about half. All right. Let's get this guy back to the house. Just one till it's full, but being modded productions, it might be different. Um, no, it's probably going to only send it to the one. So eventually, once I get the second oil well, if even if we, I don't even know if we're going to need the second oil well, but I built two into the map just for the heck of it. So we may only need the one. But if I have to distribute it to two different oil wells, I'll go back to storing and I'll just manually move them. By then we'll have an auto load trailer. All right, so you can stay here. What was I working on before I got sidetracked? Oh, we have to manually sell the steel off to get them out of the spawners. I'm going to push these boxes out of the way. Oh, maybe not. Can I push the boxes out of the way just to get them off the trigger until I can get a warehouse built tonight or tomorrow? I can. You guys sit there. That'll take, that'll empty the spawners. Let's manually drive this guy to... Ow, I'm under the pallet. Let's try that again. We'll manually drive this guy to the hardware store. Oh, come on. What am I stuck on? I know you're not in the ground. It is in the ground. Yeah, can't wait till we get the auto low trailer built. I'll get with Papa Smurf. See, so we can work on that together. All right, let's head to the cell point, see if the trigger works. I could have probably tried to double stack them and made one trip. Time is it in game? I'm gonna wait till the top of the hour and see if we get paid for the steel that it's selling by itself. And then I'm gonna get out of here so I can get the map to Dixie. Get this one in a cell point before it changes to 1400 hours. So this should be... Oh, if they're selling already. Goodness, that's quick. <laughs> All right, so what do we get? $1400, I'll take it. That's the $1400 we just spent on um, liquid fertilizer to fill our sprayer. So we did get the $1400 back. Let's go sell this other one off just to get it out of the spawn triggers. Dixieland Gaming, will you be streaming your testing? I'm hoping she does, so maybe y'all in chat can convince her to do some live streaming. I know we're both super excited to get this map ready and get it out. Because I refuse to play any of the base game maps. And the other production map seems to be a um, 
under lock and key, it's like uh, trying to break into uh, steal the Declaration of Independence before that thing gets released. Let's get this one sold and our spawners will be completely clear. And then we won't have to worry about this factory for a while. Um, yes, I'll be streaming some if, but gotta give me a chance to look things over and make out your production charts. Dixie, I'm gonna get out of here. I forgot to look at the top of the hour to see if we got paid for our steel or not. I didn't. If I didn't see it, I was looking at chat. I'll have to go back and rewatch the stream. Cherokee, I like your maps better. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're super excited to get this out. As um, soon as I sell this and check on the harvester, I'm going to get out of here because I really want to get the silo placeable silo made. I want to get the placeable liquid storage made, and I want to get the placeable pallet warehouse built so we can get those out with the map in Mod Pack One. So I'm going to work on those tonight. So hopefully we can test them tomorrow. I should be able to build them tonight. Now eventually we're going to use steel, but right now I'm just going to sell it. I think I got to be up further in this trigger. Yep, there we go. Another fourteen hundred bucks in harvest income. I'll take it. Let's head back to the farm. Let's go check on the harvester. So I got to empty him. But yeah, if you want a really good map tour, go back and watch my earlier stream from this morning, the first half hour. I did a really good map tour. Uh, there are 100 collectibles hidden on the map. I'm not going to show you where they're at. Um, you'll get $5,000 per collectible, and when you find all 100, um, it, you'll get a $2 million bonus. I didn't make multiple collectibles, it's all the same collectible. So once you find the first one, you'll know what to look for. So hopefully Dixie won't show the collectibles off. Or if she does, at least you'll know what the first one looks like and you'll have to find the rest of them. Eventually, I'll sell off the extra pallet, the front loader attacher, and the in. But that was my bad. I didn't know I had one. I bought another one. It's all good. But the one I have matches the tractor, so I'll probably just sell that one off. I'm going to check on the harvester. Um, he's about full, so let me fire this worker. Let's get out of the crop. Um, pipe out. This way I can get out of here and get this map to Dixie. So let's get him emptied.
jump in here. I'm going to throw you all on um, ending soon while I empty this, save it, and close it. Appreciate everybody stopping in. Hope everyone has an awesome night. I will definitely do more live stream playtesting tomorrow. Hopefully Dixie can get on tonight, do some testing on camera. I'm going to get out of here. Hope you all have an awesome night and we'll catch you either in Dixie's stream or tomorrow. I'm going to save this and quit before I go back to my other screen. Dixieland says goodbye y'all. Just waiting for this to save and quit. But everybody have an awesome night and catch you all tomorrow.